Here's problem 11. It says line T contains the points negative 8, 5, which I darkened right there, and over 8, down negative 3. Plot a point other than P, right there's P, with integral coordinates. Now, integral coordinates simply means you can't have a half. It's got to be an integer, negative 2, positive 6. They don't want any 2.3s or anything. So it wants it to be plot a point other than point P with integral coordinates that is on a line parallel to this line right here and it goes through P. So we got to find some other point. That's what we're going to have to do. Now, what I need to do if I want it to be parallel, I got to have the same slope as this line T. Now it looks to me, if I just look at this, it looks like I rise one, run two. Rise one, run two. It looks like it has a slope equal to a half. But I'm not 100% sure. I better check because they gave me two points that are guaranteed on here because that could be just a smidgen off and we don't want to make that mistake. So let's see. If we rise, because slope is always rise over run. Remember I say the expression, rise with the y's and run to the exit. Rise over run. The change in your y's over the change in the x's. So if I go up, this goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then it runs over 16. 8 over 16, which is a slope of a half. In this case, since it's going up to the left, it is a negative slope. So we need a negative slope of half. Well, I just got to follow the same thing. Go up 1 over 2. So if I go up 1 over 2, boom, there's a point. I could go up 1 over 2. There's another point. Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. Any of these that I'm doing would be solutions that you would be allowed to put. And you also could drop and go over 2. Drop, go over 2. Drop, go over 2. You could do all these. Any of these points here would be points that would make this new line through point P parallel to the original line T.